When soldiers become mobilized for state active duty, they become temporary employees of the state of Maryland. Do not confuse state active duty pay with military pay. It's two separate payrolls. Soldiers are paid state active duty equal to one active duty day. They are paid commensurate with their pay grade and their time in service to include all allowances. The two forms you need to complete to properly pay a soldier on state active duty is the special authorization form 311T and the state voucher. Blank forms and completed samples are all found on the G1 homepage under the state active duty tab. Complete only those areas. They are sent through the task force mission POC for a quality control check. Once that is complete, they will send it to uh, the G1 where we will do a final QC check then forward it to the state finance office for processing. Soldiers will normally receive their state active duty checks within 10 to 14 working days. There is no electronic funds transfer in place for paying soldiers on state active duty. They will receive two separate checks. One check will be for their base pay. The other check will be for their pay and allowances. Notify your chain of command. Your MSC or battalion POC will notify the G1 and will make any inquiries on your behalf for your state active duty pay. Do not call the state finance office directly. All inquir inquiries will be done through the G1. It is imperative that the soldier review their home record. That is the number one reason, especially during the last two snowstorms, why soldiers did not get their state active duty pay. So please check the home of records. Home of record. Check it. Check it and check it again. If we do not want delay problems and have all the complaints from the soldiers about their state active duty pay, check the home of record. Also, make sure the soldier signs the form. Sign it. Sign the form. Home of record.